attention van life enthusiasts and adventure seekers, we're about to showcase top mind blowing builds that'll revolutionize your view of mobile living. From the ultimate off-grid van that's ready to conquer any terrain, to a versatile van with seating for seven and sleeping for five, we've got it all. Don't miss the jaw-dropping forest-themed van at the end, it'll make you want to hit the road right now. What is up everybody, Christian, and we just wrapped up on yet another bossy van. So this is a full 2023 custom build, 170 Mercedes-Benz 4x4. So let's go take a look at this one. So we named this van Baja because the clients actually live down in Baja, Mexico. They're gonna take this off-roading, so we made this Baja ready for them. This van build was full custom and this was built for a chef. That's why you have lots of storage space, cabinet space on the bottom, as well as on the top. Feast your eyes on Hunter, a one-of-a-kind build that's ready to conquer any terrain. This bad boy features a custom vinyl wrap that'll turn heads wherever you go. But it's not just about looks Hunter comes packed with a full audio system. Luxury meets rugged with leather seating, antler-handled cabinetry, and ample storage. With its off-road bumper, Hunter's ready to conquer any terrain. It's the perfect blend of style and function for outdoor enthusiasts. I'm Philip with Ross Monster Vans and I'm here with the latest Sprinter 170 build to come out of the shop. For the design of this van, it features uh, custom upholstered wall panels. We've got the bamboo slab uppers, Phoenix Verde for our lower cabinets, um, and this really nice composite marble countertop here as well. One of the biggest features about the design of this uh, van is going to be this Colorado camper van pop top, which adds a really cool element to us and another sleeping area. Now, let me introduce you to Serena. This beauty will make you forget you're even camping. Imagine waking up to the smell of fresh coffee from your very own built-in machine that's living the dream. But wait, there's more. Serena boasts not one, but two showers. And get this, it even has a wardrobe. Who says you can't bring your entire closet on the road? Serena is proof that van life doesn't mean sacrificing luxury. Hold on to your hats, folks, because this next van is a game changer. This small but mighty luxury camper van comes with a sleek 9-speed automatic transmission, wrapped in a beautiful black exterior that'll turn heads wherever you go. But here's the kicker this van is built for all seasons. With a diesel heating system providing both heat and hot water, and let's talk about that bathroom, a full setup with a shower and toilet, plus an outdoor shower for those sunny days. This van proves that big luxury can come in small packages. My name is Megan and this is my husband Chris and together we're the owners of Activan Convergence. We are super excited to show you this new floor plan that we did. So this behind us is a Mercedes Sprinter four-wheel drive 144 and we built our Newport 144 floor plan on it. Let's show you around. I am Dee, and this is my 2010 Ford Transit Connect Lady Bug Out. I decided after watching so many videos on tinier rigs that I did not want a full 24 inch cabinet in this space because I wanted the space on the other side. And I liked the look of it. I liked the space idea of it. And I have been traveling in her for about a year and a half. Among our incredible lineup is this stunning Splinter van with a light blue finish that's sure to catch your eye. But it's not just about looks, this van is all about versatility. With seating for up to seven people, it's perfect for those group adventures. And when it's time to hit the hay, it can comfortably sleep five. Talk about making the most of your space. This van is proof that you can have both style and substance in one awesome package. This is Zhao. I'm Jim. This is our van. Chris from Activan helped us build our dream van. Come check it out. We really wanted this 
foresty look, um, if that makes sense. We wanted a lot of wood in here and we wanted the main color to be green. And luckily he was able to make that happen for us. As you guys can see, like we got these green colors and then we got wood flooring panels on the ceiling, on the walls, on the floors, which I think it came out really great.